Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Dharna Sharma. I am a resident of Department of Radio Diagnosis in Maharishi Mercantile University, Mulana Ambala. I am going to talk about role of MRI in knee injuries. As we all know, that knee is a major weight-bearing and largest joint that provides mobility, stability during physical activities as well as work balance while standing. Due to its wide range of function, it is exposed to forces beyond its physiological range, thus making the soft tissues and bone of knees at risk of injuries. The aims of our study is to study the MRI findings in knee injury and correlated with clinical observation, radiological findings and arthroscopy wherever we find, uh, wherever we did. Then the materials used in this study were, uh, were that in this study was conducted in Department of Radio Diagnosis in Maharishi Makandeshwar Institute of Medical Sciences and Research. Uh, of um, almost 100 patients were referred to the Department of Radio Diagnosis for MR imaging. And MR scans were carried out at 1.5 Tesla machine, Philips Akarva machine, and with ten sense extremity coil. Arthroscopic knee surgeries were performed in 39 patients. We co uh, correlated our MR findings with clinical as well as arthroscopic findings. Uh, then we come to the cases. This is the first case in which we see that there is a mid substance hyperintense signal on T2 uh, weighted sequence and in flare sequence as well. This is an ACL tear. Then this is a case of osteochondritis uh, desiccans in which we can see the subchondral defect and the medial femoral uh, condyle. We can see it on all the sequences. But also there is a uh, fracture fragment lying with it. In this case, we can see that there is a lateral dislocation of patella. In this case, we can see that the medial collateral ligament fibers are thickened and we have a small amount of fluid. Then our observations in uh, MR analysis for ligament injury pattern, uh, including both complete and partial tear, we saw that ACL tears were 50, PCL were 19, MCL was 17, LCL was 16, total 102 tears were seen. Then according to the etiology, sports injury were most common etiology, total of 32 persons, other was roadside accidents, falls, flipping injuries. We performed arthroscopy in 39 subjects and we correlated our MRI finding with arthroscopic findings. Tears on ACL were 29 and on arthroscopy, there were 28. In MR, PCL tears were four. On arthroscopy, there were two. Medial meniscal tear were 25. On arthroscopy, there was 21. Lateral meniscus tear were four. And on arthroscopy, there were two. Then we correlated our MR findings of ACL ligament tears with arthroscopic findings. Tear on MR were 29 and tear came out on arthroscopy were 28. True positives were 28. Normal on arthroscopy was one. False positive was one. Normal on MR were 10. There was no tear amongst these patients on arthroscopy. So the normal and true negatives were 10. Then we also correlated MR and arthroscopic findings in case of posterior cruciate ligament. In that, we found that tear on MR were four, true positives that were tear on arthroscopy was two, and normal on arthroscopy were two, making false positives of two. Then posterior cruciate ligaments that were normal on MR were 35, and tears on arthroscopy were zero, and normal on arthroscopy were 35. So true negatives were 35. Then we correlated the lateral meniscus findings on MRI as well as arthroscopy. We found that tears on MR were four, tears on arthroscopy, two positives were two, normal on arthroscopy was two, that was false positives. The normal on MR was 35 and tears on arthroscopy was zero, normal on arthroscopy were 35. Correlation of MRI with arthroscopy in medial meniscus tears were on MRI, there was almost 25 tears and tears on arthroscopy was 19. Normal on arthroscopy was 6. Normal on MR were 14. Out of them, tear on arthroscopy came out to be 2 and normal on arthroscopy were 12. Then we also correlated our findings with other studies. Studies of Singetol and Ranjan and Mohammed. they were a good correlation. 
we saw that ACL tears were almost 50% in our study and in Singital study, they were 45% and in Ranjan and Mohammed, they were 76%. PCA was 19% uh, in our study. In Singital, it was 5.7% and in Ranjan and Mohammed, they were 6%. Medial meniscal tears were 30% uh, uh, in our study, 32.9% in Singital study, and Ranjan and Mohammed 34%. Lateral meniscus tears were 17% in our study, 16% in Singital study, and 22% in Ranjan and Mohammed. For MCL, we had 17% of tears uh, that correlated with the Ranjan and Mohammed, that is 28%. And in LCL, we had 16% in Ranjan and Mohammed, they were 18%. Our results were that we saw 100%, uh, 100 patients, uh, in results when 100 patients were that we saw various lesions, joint effusion 70%, interior crucial ligament. 50% medial meniscal tear, 30% bone contusion, 24% fractures, 10% lateral meniscal tear, 17%, and uh, medial collateral ligament was 17%, and lateral collateral injuries were 16%. So we found that uh, co uh, there were good correlation between the MR findings and clinical findings. Correlation between MR and arthroscopic findings regarding the presence and absence of posterior cruciate ligament was highest with sensitivity of 100% and specificity of 94%, negative predictive value of 100%, accuracy of 94.8%. Talking about the sensitivity, specificity, negative predictive value, and positive predictive value, and accuracy on MRI. For detecting knee injuries, we take arthroscopy as gold standard. For ACL, it was almost like 100%, 90.9% specificity, negative predictive value, 96.5%, positive predictive value, 97.4%. For lateral meniscus, the sensitivity was 100%, specificity was 94.5%, negative predictive value 100%, positive predictive value 50%, and accuracy 94.8%. Uh, Medial meniscus sensitivity, uh, sensitivity was 90.4%, specificity 66.7%. Negative predictive value 85.7% and 76% positive predictive value. In conclusion, we found that MRI is very useful, non invasive modality with high di uh, diagnostic accuracy, sensitivity, and negative predictive value. It is very re reliable with uh, screening tests for diagnosis of internal derangements. And we can save many knees from uh, unnecessary arthroscopic with the help of MRI.